Hey, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Hey, do you nerd for collecting retro video games? Because that may be pointless. There's been a question floating around the YouTube verse, is collecting retro video games pointless? That is a pretty heavy question. And honestly, I feel like my point of view is it comes down to why are you collecting? I often cite Discart his phrase, collect what you love. But I like to add that addendum of collect why you want to. Mm -hmm. There are many reasons to collect retro video games. Now, if you're collecting to make money, that's probably a bad idea. Let's face it, the retro gaming market always fluctuates in yeah. prices and in values. I often call to light the anomaly with Elvis collectibles. Oh yeah. You know what, there was a time when I'm sure that a lot of those Elvis collectible pieces were super expensive, super valuable. But let's also face the facts that a lot of the people that grew up idolizing Elvis are starting to pass away. Mm -hmm that train has kind of pulled out of the station. And so a lot of those collectibles, even though they may be super valuable, they're not really valuable unless you find that one person. Video games can get to that point as well. Of course, certain things like high priced items on Nintendo will always hold that value because it's that NES game that everybody wants. Things that might be on the Sega 32X, however, it may come down to the fact that you have to find the right person to sell that to if you're collecting for value. So is my opinion, collecting for value is a bad idea. Things are only valuable if someone is willing to pay what it's worth. Something could be worth $5 million, but if there's not a single person that's gonna pay you $5 million, you have a $0 game. Plain and simple. <laughs> uh, another reason to collect is to go for a full set, but on a lot of things, that full set could be a very unobtainable goal. Mm -hmm. uh, going for a full set of Virtual Boy games, no problem. Going for a full set of NES games, there's your problem. And where do you draw the line? Do you draw the line at competition carts? You know? Or since it wasn't mainstream sold, do you not count those? Good question. Or I tell you what, Limited Run and a lot of the similar companies are starting to put games out that are on NES cartridges. But does that count towards that collection or not? Does it have to be official Nintendo to count towards it too? Because if that's the case, then some of those tension cards aren't going to count. Yeah. Maybe you're just collecting for nostalgia or for fun, and that's what you should be collecting for. Nostalgia's fine, but collect for fun. And that leads me into the reason this question is flying around so much. Honestly, I feel like people are losing touch with why they started collecting, and maybe they're feeling a little pressured. Once again, to reference our panel video, we did talk about that briefly. Sometimes people get into that mindset of, if I'm going to be collecting video games, I have to have certain titles. I have to be collecting mm -hmm. for certain systems. I can only be collecting certain things. That's when it becomes more of a chore and not collecting for yeah. fun. And you're not going to enjoy what you're doing. Oh, I've wasted my life. Whether it's video games, comic books, action figures, anything you can think of, you often find that rut up. Well, if you're going to collect for this, you have to have this in the yeah. collection. Even with music. Oh, you're a music buff. You collect vinyl. Well, you have to have this certain Beatles vinyl. You have to have certain Queen vinyl in your collection. Yeah, it's kind of like if you learn to play the guitar, you have to know how to play Stairway to Heaven. No stairway. Denied. And now, with so many people on YouTube offering up these great hidden gem videos, there also comes that mindset of, well, I have to have those in my collection because they're hidden gems. These are going to be the games that are going to be sought after, so I better get it in my collection. You worry if they're going to judge you, or they may go ahead and judge you and say, well, you're not a real collector if you don't have this in your collection. Pick any game you want. I'm good at all of them. I have 97 of them. One of the main reasons that people ask is collecting retro video games pointless is because of the whole convenience factor of having them digitally. Yes, it does certainly help to be able to put all of those games on one little SD card and not have to dedicate a room like yeah. this to finding space for all those games. And absolutely, it is much more convenient. 
but there are a lot of issues with emulation. First of all, NES games. Uh, Gaming Off the Grid made a great point yeah. about Mike Tyson's punch out. It doesn't times. quite emulate properly and there's that lag. Or sometimes, you know, in the original game, you need that pixel perfect precision. Better yet, when they started talking about disc based games, you know, we still have a lot, <laughs> a lot of ground to cover to get a lot of those disc based games to emulate properly. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different technology going on there, and it still hasn't carried over to the point that it feels like it did on the native system. If you ask me about all of this, I, I like to pose the question of all collecting is pointless if you just look at it because why would you collect action figures? Why would you collect comic books? Why would you collect video games and vinyl? Why would you collect sports memorabilia? I, for instance, collect a lot of action figures. I don't play with them. I don't pose them. I sit them on a shelf, but I have them. I want them. That's why I collect them. I love movies. I love video games. I love TV shows. I love books. So when they make something that has to do with that, I collect it because it makes me feel like I'm a part of something that I can't actually be a part of. I don't think that collecting anything is just pointless because I feel like it makes you feel a part of something. I agree that I think this digital market is amazing. It's very convenient. It allows you to condense a lot of things into a lot of a nice space. Just like most of the other digital media out there, I pay a yearly subscription fee to Marvel Comics so that I can read any comic I want and I don't have to run out and buy it. So I like to save money in that regard. But I do collect certain comics because I do want that physical, tangible comic so that I can have it in my collection, I can go read it whenever I want, because sometimes the digital media streaming things out there take things down and you might not get it anymore. Sometimes there's something to be said for the smell of something or the feel of something. So that's why you'd want to collect the actual physical version of something. Maybe I am a little biased, but I do not think that collecting retro video games is pointless. I think that there's a lot of reasons to do so. These shelves are a bit of pride for me. Growing up, I actually lived outside of town. It was very rare to ever even go into town to rent a game, much less buy a video game. These shelves to me is a sense of pride as a gaming collector to see how far I have come from those days. Back in the days when I would only have one, two, maybe three games to get me by with any given console. Now I've managed to go out and find a a bevy of games that I have at my disposal whenever I want. Which seems kind of silly to just have so many games because obviously I don't have the time to play it, but it's not all about me. This room is very much a social statement as mm -hmm. well. It is so much fun to have friends over and oh, watch yeah. them go through the shelves. First of all, going through, looking for their favorites, and then seeing their reaction when they find that favorite, and then them wanting to play it. Or seeing that game they never got to play. Oh my gosh, you have this game right here. I always wanted to play that. Well, go for it. That joy in their face. This is exciting because of that tangibility of it. It's like mm -hmm. when you were a kid and you went into a toy store. It doesn't matter if you left with a toy or not. It was so thrilling to be surrounded by all of this stuff that you enjoyed and just to see it. And that brings me to my final point, the experiences and the stories. Nearly every game, every piece of video game memorabilia in here, anything that is in this room comes with a story from how I got each and every console to each and every game. My reason for collecting retro video games or collecting anything in general really is preservation. I am a huge history buff and without someone collecting something, it gets lost. It gets uh, destroyed. Scott Pilgrim! What? <laughs> there is a big reason to collect anything is so that there is some version of it for future generations to enjoy or to experience. There is a lot of the old Doctor Who that is just flat out gone and sometimes they just ran out of film so they filmed over old episodes and if nobody recorded those off the television then they're lost. Those episodes are just lost because no one collected them. Some people just throw away the cartridges and they're gone. They're just gone. So that's my big reason for collecting 
retro games or anything is just simply preservation so it's here for future generations. Well, what else are you going to do if they shut down the servers? And then your streaming services don't offer those video games anymore. You know, the the Wii store has shut down. So if, you know, if you if something happens to that Wii that you've got all your digital games on, that's it. Not to mention, there were plenty of exclusives on the Wii eShop that, mm -hmm. since that store's gone, those games are gone. Unless you happen to download them. And here's hoping that among the entire world, at least one person downloaded every single game somewhere. I think it's pretty safe to say that we are definitely for collecting retro video games. This is Do You Nerd with the Evening News. <laughs> Seriously though, nerdlings, of course we love to see your comments, so drop those comments down below or make a response video. Yeah, we'd love it's to see going your around. Definitely love getting people's takes on this. Uh, be sure to like the video if you happen to like it. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and leave us those responses. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise, and if we like it, nerdlings. We nerd it and we collect it. Yes, and we preserve it. Just like most of the other digital media out there, I have paid. La, 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 la. Okay, take two. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter. Let me try that one more time.